Well, hello there, everybody. It's Sally here, and welcome to today's Tuesday Teaching Tips. Now, I don't know whether you can remember, those of you that took exams as a child, where what, what it was like or how you felt or anything. I, I was talking to Sharon about this the other day, and I was remembering, I think it was my grade two exam, and um, I remember it was a very, very snowy day. And my mum, bless her, she walked from uh, her house, our house, um, to school to pick me up. And that must have been a good two miles. And then she picked me up and we walked together. And I mean deep snow, you know, we're looking at deep snow here. We walked together down into the city where the exam was being held, of course, at a Methodist church hall. And then we must have walked home again. And I just remember... What I remember is being incredibly cold and being at this Methodist church hall. Now, I did several exams there, so I think I must have built up a memory of that over time. Um, but I also remember, you know, how you used to get this clutching kind of <gasps> thing in your stomach as, as you knew it was your turn and that's when you had to go and play. And I don't know whether you get any students who, who get very anxious about their exams or just come out as a sort of floods of tears and, and they just weren't ready, they weren't prepared for that exam experience. And um, I think the really important thing for me these days is to make sure that for all my students that they learn the pieces if they're going to do an exam and they learn to play those pieces as beautiful pieces of music of and they give various performances of it of which the exam is just one of those so it's not all their eggs in one basket so to speak you know i've got to play these pieces perfectly on the day um on the exam day and that's my only experience of performing because that can be really very very nerve-wracking because i often find as children they have no sense of what performing is until you get them actually there and performing and then they suddenly go Oh, oh, this is what it's like. And it can, with some of them, it can all fall to pieces, can't it? So I think it's really important to make sure that the exam experience is just one element of the performance opportunities. Now, other things you might do is get them to play to previous pupils, or you might get you might record them playing and then they can watch themselves. Or you might say, can you set up a Skype and play to grandma or grandpa or whoever? Or you might say, go and find a, a public piano somewhere. Take your, take your wipes with you these days. Maybe that's not such a good idea. But, you know, the idea is there that get them out and about and get them playing their pieces in a very broad sense so that they're not just fixated on that last, last moment of, oh, here's an exam. And I've never played my pieces outside my comfort zone before because that's really what we don't want to have at all. Now... If you're interested and want to find out more about this whole topic, then do explore our new Grade 1 Toolkit for Piano Teachers. And it's a, a four-module course um, that, you has, that has got ooh, several hours of videos in it, to be honest, that Sharon and I have put together. And we had a lot of fun doing it. And it's full of lovely, engaging activities, resources, things to make you think, a few lectures that you can watch. Um, and I'll put a link below. So if you haven't explored it, do go and have a look at the uh, programming. You can see all the different modules and what the modules have on, all, uh, on offer. Sharon, hello there. Sharon's watching. Hello, everybody who is watching. And Kimberly's there. Hi, Kimberly. Lovely to see you here. And thank you both so much for, for watching me live. Uh, wherever you are, happy teaching. Keep safe. Keep washing those hands. Singing happy birthday. All right. Bye for now.